So it's been about six months since I built the bike, um, put the motor on and everything. So I'm just going to go over some of the things I like about it and some of the things that I've changed and some of the things that I think I'd like to do in the future. So it's a Specialized Fat Boy and it has the Bafang BBS HD motor on it. Got a thousand kilometers on it now and so far I'm really happy with how well the motor's been bearing up. Uh, I haven't managed to smack it on any rocks or anything at the bottom yet and despite white riding it around in the winter here with salt and stuff the only real bit of rust I've got is in here on the spacer ring which is just superficial the actual motor itself hasn't got any at all on it uh, this is the second chain that I've put on uh, the first one already had a fair distance on it anyway so it was kind of due for a change anyway but I did manage to snap the chain twice when I've been out riding both times when I was kind of standing up on the pedals trying to put too much power through it and then using the throttle and yeah it just snapped it straight away so don't don't do that by the way the gears have been working really well especially now I can use this big one at the back you get really really fast acceleration in this gear and this gear and then if you sit it in this one here which I think is a 26 tooth gear um, it gives you really nice acceleration when you're sort of cruising at about 25 and then it'll take you all the way up to about 40 and then you can get it into this next one down and then this is about the highest that I've been um, and that'll put you to about 53 on the flat. This part I actually changed out fairly recently and put in a 42 tooth uh, cog, which I wish I'd done at the start because it gave me so much better chain line to the back. The, uh, the 36 one, it, it gave it more torque, but to be honest, it doesn't really seem to need it. The tyres I've changed out to uh, a more smoother smoother tread pattern uh, and so far it's been great. It's been really really quiet and uh, it's stopped most of the brake chattering that I was getting um, which seems to must be vibration coming from the knobby tyres rather than anything else. I will say though these are not very good off-road so if I start going back to doing some more off-roading I'm probably going to be changing back to the knobby tyres again. Uh, the throttle control has been, been good, it's been fun to use um, and it's it's okay. It's not super responsive um, and it can be quite jerky. I think that's more to do with how you ride the bike than anything. It's very much limited by the, uh, the control unit that is in the motor here so if I really need to change that then I would have to change the control unit which is for another day I think. I put this button on originally with the idea of it being a, like a master cutoff switch um, that you could push to cut all power if you needed to but to be honest I haven't used it so I think it's probably going to come off and get used for something else. Literally as soon as you move the magnet more than you know a few millimeters away from the sensor here on this side it cuts power to the motor anyway without braking so it's much quicker and easier to use something that you're already going to be having your fingers on rather than reaching down to push a, a cutoff button. The brakes have been holding up really quite well. I'm going to need to get some help with servicing them at some point though because they're hydraulic ones and I've never uh, I've never messed around with those before. I am glad though that I'm not running this kind of power on like some rim brakes or something like that because I imagine that would be quite scary. Uh, the battery that you've got tucked in here is still going as strong as the uh, the day it arrived. It doesn't appear to have lost any any charge at all and it's still appearing to reach its full capacity. Which is good because it was quite expensive. The uh, the display is okay, 
um, but I don't really like the way it looks stuck up there and I don't really like this mass of cables here so I think I'm going to look at changing that to something that's a bit more subtle. So all in all it's been really fun riding this round for a thousand kilometers. Uh, next thing I think I'm going to do is to change out the uh, the display and maybe looking at a different control board for the for the motor. Overall uh, I'm very happy it's a lot of fun and I'm going to see how much more performance that I can squeeze out of this motor.